Morning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Well, from all of us, the Kaga 9 on your side Weather Center, like to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. And while some folks are out trying to find the perfect deal, some of us are trying to find the perfect meal, like this bobcat that was spotted on the east side of town today. Hey, how about that for a holiday visitor? Oh, just stopping by for a little bit of turkey, maybe quail. Maybe a pygmy owl, I don't know, whatever I can find. <laughs> One of our hardworking photojournalists, Jim Shield, saw this cat right across the street from his house, and all the neighbors were gathered just uh, trying to get a glimpse of this bobcat. That's a pretty healthy animal, I think. Yeah. Looking for a holiday feast. Maybe too much trip to fan in that turkey, so it's taking a little cat nap of sorts. 67 degrees, partly cloudy skies now, and the air, at least at the airport, is calm. We had a high of 65 in Oracle today, 64 Wilcox, 73 for Tucson. In fact, Arizona, the warmest place in the country today. So certainly giving thanks for our nice weather. Overnight, staying pretty mild, although 32 for Wilcox, 41 Sierra Vista, 34 for Benson. We'll be in the mid. 40s though for Oral Valley, low 40s for Green Valley. And then tomorrow for your Black Friday, warming to the 60s across most of Cochise County. Tucson at 71. We're talking 70 degrees for Sells, Casa Grande at 71, and 69 for Oral Valley. We break down your Black Friday for you if you're headed out. Late tonight, very early tomorrow morning at midnight, clear skies, 59 degrees as you're waiting in line to so have a jacket or a sweatshirt. By 5 a.m., maybe you're already ready for a break. Maybe for breakfast, 47 with clear skies, and then 71 by the afternoon and more sunshine. Hey, speaking of the sun, the sun had a close encounter with Comet Ison today. This is the moment of truth. You see this little video clip here. This is the comet as it's nearing the sun. It's blocked out there so it doesn't burn up the camera lens, but this is it, uh, kind of a loop of it approaching the sun, and this is just seconds later as it kind of rounds the sun. You see that straight. Well, a lot of astronomers are saying that this comet, the nucleus itself, disintegrated as it made its way near the sun today. And all you're looking at there, some ash, kind of a trail of ashes left behind. So, Comet Ison, rest in peace. After traveling for over a million years, its voyage came to an end today. A look at your seven day forecast clear skies through the weekend. And for temperatures next week, we're looking at 60s, 68 for your Tuesday, 61 Wednesday, 62 for your. <laughs> Thursday and a chance for valley rain and mountain snow Ooh. returning. So we'll keep eyes on that uh, storm system, let you know how that is shaping up. It could be another decent winter storm. Yeah, it should be fun. Now, it's a gingerbread home like you've never seen before. Actually,